Hi, welcome to my first me painting video on YouTube. My name is Chris. I'm going to be talking you through uh, a few of the methods I was using in uh, this quick Photoshop painting I did for my friend Julio. So the first thing I'm going to start off with very quickly is a uh, quick sketch of what uh, I want to paint in Photoshop. I'm going to do this in my notebook. Uh, it's quick and easy. Um, and uh, with some classes I took over the summer, um, sketching is really the easiest part of of you know making this drawing. Um, I'm just blocking it. I know I didn't get a very good shot. Uh, my tripod was sort of positioned against the wall. wasn't wasn't very easily accessible. I'm just blocking in some basic shapes. Um, sort of. I'm not trying to be realistic with this. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm uh, going for a more cartoony look, I guess. Um, anyway, the, the, the subject was supposed to be um, just this guy, Baird, from a video game. You don't know which one. It's uh, Gears of War. Um, just about any guy would <laughs> probably be able to tell you about Gears of War. Um, and my friend Julio is obsessed with it, and more importantly with uh, this character, Baird, who is tall jackass and sarcastic and funny. Um, so I thought it'd be funny to um, not draw Baird, but draw Julio as Baird instead. And um, so I uh, I just looked up a picture of Baird, and I swapped out his head for Julio's, and I pretty much just slapped Julio's face onto the drawing instead. Um, and I'm kind of surprised I'm picking up audio from my sketchbook on this. That's kind of creepy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going through this basic, these basic shapes. Um, you can't see it as well from this angle, but the body I drew was incredibly small compared to Olio's face. Um, so that will eventually be erased, and uh, I, I was really trying to rush through this because... Uh, Julio asked me to do this. Well, he asked me to do a drawing of Baird anyway, um, a pretty long time ago, and uh, I, I had just never gotten to it. So, uh, <laughs> about an hour and a half ago, or or maybe two hours ago, it was like, "Hey, you haven't drawn Baird yet." And I was like, "Oh shit, I think I should do that." So, this is how I got started. Um, still blocking in some basic shapes. I don't get into too much detail when uh, when I'm, I'm just doing rough sketches. Um, that might actually be one of my faults, really, is that I never get into enough detail very quickly. Now I've decided I'm done, so I'm going to pop it right into Photoshop. Um, my problem with Photoshop is that I, I've never been able to uh, color exactly... Yeah, Coheed and Cambria. I've never been able to... Uh, color exactly the way I wanted to, and I was fortunate enough to have come across uh, a video tutorial by this guy named Bobby Chu, who, um, he was one of the creative leads uh, with Tim Burton on the new Alice in Wonderland movie. Um, and he runs a site where you have to, you, you have to uh, pay for his video tutorials uh, about Photoshop and you know, different things you can do in Photoshop. Uh, he was kind enough to put out in, uh, a whole tutorial for free on how he uh, colors uh, creatures that will show up in live-action movies and television shows. Um, and you can see I have a little tidbit of it right there. I, I cut most of it out because it is not my property. Um, but I did want to give you a little sense of what, what I was working off of. Um, and it, it, it really helped. Uh, I don't think I really would have been able to finish this uh, as fast, if at all, if I didn't take a look at that tutorial. Um, so, Bobby, if you ever happen to watch this, and I doubt you will, but thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to be able to use Photoshop much more now that I've seen that tutorial. Um, so, picking music, <laughs> Facebook. Um, don't pay any attention to the pancake. Uh, so, 
we're just going through this really fast. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm laying down a few light passes um, where I think the light will hit Julio and the, the armor on him the strongest. Um, basically what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to add the light passes and I'm going to add the shadows. And then I'm going to uh, just quickly add some color. Uh, coloring in Photoshop isn't difficult as long as you've already added the light and the shadows to it. Um, if we're just talking about this, you know, general figure. Uh, details are always a little bit harder and much more fun to do, which is why I did almost none of them tonight, because, uh, quite frankly, I, I, I'm just I'm not even focusing that well. It's too late. When I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> narrating this video at 1.40 in the morning, and uh, I'm, I'm really, like, my eyes are killing me. Um, <sighs> too much halo beforehand. <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. Um, so here we go. I finished all the light I really wanted to for now, and I'm just adding... That was him. I'm just adding uh, a little skin tone there. And then I'm just quickly going into the armor with a... Uh, a quick shade of blue. I realize that the armor isn't completely accurate uh, if you're like a, a Gears of War fanatic. Um, again, this was really something quick and I want to go back in with details later. Um, but I've never... Uh, what do I want to say? I've never really painted or colored metal before. Uh, and it was a weird experience because, uh, I mean, I... I sort of had this uh, guide in front of me if I went back to the Baird picture. But that's made on the... What is it? The, the, the Unreal Engine. That's what Epic Games uh, uses, the Unreal Engine, which gives everything this glossy look. Um, you know, and it works for them. Uh, but I, I didn't... First, I didn't want to copy it, per se. And, and secondly... Uh, I don't know, it just, I don't feel like something like that would work for me. So what you can see there is I, uh, now I'm erasing the outline um, for the rest of the body. I just sort of want to make this a bust, and I'm, I'm going through the layers. Um, I'm adding a little bit more light, putting in a few more details to show that the light is above him, uh, and talking to him at the same time. There you go. He had no idea. I was going to draw him in Baird's armor. He, he actually still has no idea as I'm narrating this. Um, so it's going to be pretty funny when I upload it, I hope. <laughs> um, so I don't think it looks as good as it could. Uh, I think I'm doing this way too late at night. Well, uh, way too early in the morning, at least. Um, and there we go. Here's the credits. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to hopefully upload more stuff very soon. I had a ton of fun with this. And uh, please subscribe and uh, thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.